So today guys, I bring you 10 of the best weapons in this game. These range from melee weapons to guns to even unarmed gloves, which add a blaze to your combat. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. So this video consists of 10 amazing, must get, ultimate, well mostly ultimate rarity weapons you need to get your hands on. All 10 will be time stamped in case you want to skip certain ones you may already have. Those time stamps you'll find a link below. But let's get into it people. So in no particular order here, first up guys we have the unarmed blazing gloves. What these basically do is add heat to your unarmed melee combat. So the quest for these starts with an NPC called Boo. Now this quest isn't short at all, but within this quest what it does is actually open up a couple of other weapons which we'll get onto later on today in the video. And I'll explain a little further. So this quest sees you doing a few things for Boom, but quickly you are sent to go and get Poo from another NPC called Moog. Moog asks you to travel the map and take out a few mini bosses. These are important as these mini bosses also give you a vault key at the same time, which opens up vaults for other weapons featured today. So do what Moog asks of you and upon taking out the couple of bosses and returning to him, he rewards you this amazing prosthetic armour which is grabbed from the box behind him. Then guys speak to him and buy that poo from his inventory. Once you've done this, return to Boom. Once you are at Boom, you are rewarded these amazing blazing gloves which again are picked up right from him. So yes, these are absolutely incredible. Try them out and tell me what you think. Next up we have the Contagion, Flerpstruxis. This gun type weapon is obtained from a vault, which you can see on screen now. Now we'll mention vaults mostly require you to kill a boss to get a key to open up said vault like I mentioned earlier, but there are certain vault bosses tied to side quests, like I believe this one is. If the side quest hasn't been picked up by yourself, then normally the vaults are already open for you to loot. I think it may be a bug but it's been the case for me numerous times. So if you head to these locations and where you see the boss within that area on that mini map, if he doesn't spawn in, just circle the area for a couple of minutes, head back to the vault and collect that loot. Okay, so next up guys, we have the cane, Borterbug. This one is located within the Bang Shelter 11E, northwest of the map. Head to this location, you can see me going to on screen now, and loot this entire shelter. There is tons of loot here, people. But I will state within the main room, there's a mini boss here, who you will have to take out to get this weapon. Find his keepers. Just dropping this would crush him. Next up guys, we have this insane flaming sword, known as the Premerger Sword. This two-handed slash weapon hits like a truck and is a must get for sure. So the quest for this starts at the lighthouse, you can see on the screen now via the map.
Firstly, you have to climb to the top of this lighthouse. Once here, you have to maneuver the light until it focuses on a cave. You illuminated that secret cave over there. Wonder what's in it. You then have to head to that cave and do a simple puzzle. And for this, you are rewarded this amazing melee weapon. Next up guys we have Knock Umph one handed slash weapon, one of my personal favourites for my saboteur. This is another one of those vault weapons like I mentioned earlier. The boss in which drops this vault key is tied to that Moog quest in which you should have this key to already if you went ahead and got the blazing gloves quest I covered first today. If you skip those and didn't grab the quest, this boss won't spawn in for you. But that doesn't matter because if you circle the area a couple of times, like you see me doing, the vault just weirdly opens up for you to grab the loot and grab this weapon. So circle the area, if no boss spawns, head to the vault and test your luck. Ok so next up guys we have a lump pin handle rolling pin. So this awesome flaming one handed slash weapon is obtained from an NPC called Lump, who you can find on the map right here. When you first go to him you have to run a few errands for him but it's mostly like 5 or 10 minutes and it's literally the easiest stuff I've done in this game. Once you are done head back, talk to Lump and you are rewarded this amazing weapon. Lump says he has He's happy to have something for everyone. Lump said Next up guys we have the incredible Sparkatron Hypix Grunt Rifle, one of my favourite guns in the game. So this one is another vault weapon and it's another vault tied to that Moog quest we've already covered. Again if you skip that quest and didn't grab that quest from uh, Moog, this boss won't spawn in for you. But again it doesn't matter because if you circle the area a couple of times, the vault should just open up for you to grab this loot. So if you go here, no boss spawns in. Head to the vault and grab that loot guys. Next up we have the carrot handle infected carrot which is a biohazard crush weapon and is amazing. So this weapon is tied to a side quest called walking village which you grab from Chupsa on the map right here. 
This quest sees you having to enter a ranch, which I will add, you will need to have a resistance to radiation for this one. Once in the ranch, travel downstairs beneath the earth, where you will have to take out a few enemies. Then grab a carrot and return to Chubsa. Upon doing this, you will understand why this is called Walking Earth. And for this quest, when it's done, you grab the weapon from behind, this NPC, Chubsa. Okay, so next up guys, we have my favourite gun in the game, bar none. It's called the Hyperol Zapper. And it is unreal guys, a must have. So this weapon is a vault weapon, again, meaning you have to take out a boss to get a vault key. So the boss on location of this vault you can see on the screen now. This does require you to have a resistance to hypoxia to get this thing. I personally played it smart without any resistance, but it took me ages to do so. It's probably easier and faster to get a hypoxia resistance. So I recommend you doing that. So do what you gotta do guys and get this thing. And lastly today guys we have the Shrook Gong Mace, which is a heavy crush weapon. This is another vault weapon guys, but this one is probably the easiest of the lot. It requires no resistance. You just have to travel to where I am on the map right here. Then use your old world clunk fist to take out the wall and you are good to just kill this boss, grab that vault key and head to the vault. And there we have it guys, 10 amazing weapons you need to have in Bio Mutant. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.